take two. Start again. Uh, I'll, there's lots of things I want to say in, in general reels and um, about the way people behave, the intentions of what they say and why they say it. And is it because they're lacking knowledge of why they're saying things or is it because they have malice or some hidden agenda or favouring some people or being biased, whatever it is. I actually make a point of never doing that. Just never do it. It's, it's not a nice thing to do. Anyway, there's uh, a word. I'm not that good at English. I've got a GCSE O level, grade B. Not that brilliant. But if I were a subject, I'd say. But I've seen plenty of people that profess to know English and they haven't got a clue. It's normal like that. People that think they know a lot of stuff, but they don't. Anyway, there's a word, inference. And um, a lot of people don't like this word. But in these academic papers, it would tell you that, yes, the last generation or two, don't particularly like the words. They see it as insulting to say that, have you been influenced? But they don't have to stop, because they're more intelligent ones, we know. You can stop and think. It would be rather silly to say that a person's not influenced, because it's a kind of standard bog answer, a standard que <laughs> automatic response to say, of course not. Well, yes, we all are. Especially in this world with media in it, and so much going on around it. They're influenced by celebrities, film stars, politicians, people that admire, people that are uh, 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 bodybuilders or, or um, great at business. I mean, be, be in my then, people that do good in, in all sorts of activities. You know, be up in admiration. And, and they could influence because we, we, we like them and so we will think that um, whatever they say uh, can change our way of thinking. It's perfectly normal. Some people don't stop to think what the word means. They take offence to when someone says, have you learnt something? Have you gained some more knowledge? Have you benefited by reading something or studying something or listening to a wise person or thought about the situation? And if you've learned something and you've gained something, you've been influenced. It's as simple as that. There's nothing wrong with it. So it's, it's a, and really, if one starts being influenced by anything, then they're dead. Because they should start, they should still be influenced and learn and gain knowledge and just be able to change their minds and not be set in their ways. And the only time they stop being, uh, stop learning or being influenced is when they're dead. So I don't see the problem with people saying that this person's not being influenced or that person's not being influenced because, quite frankly, it's ridiculous. So I'll get that one off my shoulders and I'll, I'll send this, um, I'll attach some academic work that people can look at it and try and find out without being, having the wrong attitude about it. There's no point having an attitude, it's just being factual and this is the situation. It's, it's um, emotions don't come into it, it's just straightforward, simple fact. Bye for now.